Hey there folks, Rel here. Today we're going to be going over what I feel are the most useful certifications for the Infiltrator class in Planetside 2. This video is more of a buyer's guide and less of a walkthrough, so it assumes you already know what these certification lines and equipment do, and if you don't then you can always check out the reviews on each individual item. The goal at the end of this will be to up your Infiltrator's effectiveness as quickly as possible to keep you from wasting certifications on things you may not need. There won't be a huge emphasis on weapon selection in this video, but we will be running over which weapons are reliable and easy to access based on your playstyle. In this chart, I've laid out each certification and rank into categories of importance. Each color points to items that are suitable to players at a certain stage in their character's development. It doesn't mean that you need to unlock everything, just the ones you plan on using. Green indicates that the certification is very important or very powerful to have early on. Yellow refers to certs that are a little bit more flexible and when you could choose to pick them up, but usually you'd want to do it after you've established a basic setup. And red points to abilities that are geared more toward the end of the game, as well as cert lines that don't give the best return on investment as far as cost versus performance. Lastly, I've also linked all the charts as well as two additional versions for a couple forms of colorblindness in the video description below. Remember that what I have laid out here is my opinion, but it should give you a pretty good idea for what you want to do with your certifications, regardless of where you are in the class's development. I'd also like to offer up an example development timeline for your first 1000 or so certifications invested into the class. In this example, we're going to be going with a more long range build. The Infiltrator class is pretty weapon specific as far as how the class plays, and as much as people will maybe not encourage there being more sniping infiltrators on the field, it's also one of the most accessible playstyles available. The automatic scout rifle is 250 certifications, which isn't too bad to put you in a solid mid-range role, but a lot of people don't like the weapon because it's, it's a little bit difficult to use, especially when you're just starting out. And unfortunately, SMGs all cost 1000 certifications, which is well outside of the reach of a newer player. The quickest and cheapest way to get an SMG if you're really interested in going that route would just be to buy the fresh meat pack which is 2 bucks and it comes with the NS7 PDW. Outside of that though, it will take you some time. That said, let's look at our first 1000-ish certifications into the Infiltrator class. The first thing we're going to do is throw a point into your hacking speed passive upgrade. Honestly, you won't get too much play out of this in most cases, but it's only one point and it's good to have at least that additional 10% to your hacking speed if you ever do find yourself near an enemy base turret or a console. Also, to find your passive certs, click on the certification button near the infiltrator's feet in your loadout menu. Next, we're going to drop 10 certs into our advanced shield capacitor just to start building that out, and it's important to know that unlike most classes, infiltrators only have 400 shields opposed to the standard 500, and you don't regenerate shields while your cloak is on. However, Advanced Shield Capacitor is still extremely powerful. If you'd like a review on the Advanced Shield Capacitor, I did do one a while back that you'll find linked in the video description. Next, we're going to put 10 certs into our Hunter Cloak, and at each rank of Hunter Cloak, you get another 10% increase in your Cloak's regeneration, which is very, very useful overall. You can use your Hunter Cloak with any type of weapon, and maxing this out pretty early in your career will go a long way toward making the class more efficient, that is, after we establish a foundation. So let's grab our first rank of medical kit for 50 certifications if you haven't done it already on another class, and these are universal unlocks, so unlocking it once will unlock it for all classes. It is a little bit pricey, but the alternative is restoration kits which are not good on the infiltrator class, as cloaking will stop your health regeneration, and you'll also get a nice green glow, which is especially annoying on a stealth based class. But you do want to get something into that utility slot as quickly as possible, and that's where your medical kit comes into play. This might sound a little bit controversial, but if you're either VS or TR, it's probably a good idea to pick up your bolt action sniper rifle. The semi-auto sniper rifles are surprisingly difficult to use well compared to the bolt actions. You can land hits easy enough, but kills will take a little bit more effort, and if you're trying to level up your infiltrator class, bolt action headshots are a good way to do that. Big battles and correct positioning will net you plenty of kills on stationary targets. For the VS, you're unlocking the XM98, and for the TR, you're unlocking the M77B. Those are your 100 certification bolt action sniper rifles, and they are great weapons. NC infiltrators have access to the bolt driver by default, so you can just ignore this bit of advice. Next, we're going to be bumping up that advanced shield capacitor suit slot again, and we'll end up maxing that out here soon. 
But before we do that, let's throw 30 certifications into our Recon Dart. I like the Recon Dart for low level players as a means to gain experience and ribbons, especially if you can find an Engineer ammo pack and just spam darts from range without putting too much thought into it. Putting points into the second rank of Recon Dart extends the range and duration a bit, but honestly it's not overly helpful if you're doing the whole Engineer ammo pack thing, but the quicker scanning time and such is useful when situations aren't exactly ideal. Now that the low hanging fruit is mostly out of the way, let's finish off the last two ranks of Advanced Shield Capacitor. That's a total of 300 certifications. Then we'll go ahead and get our Hunter Cloak almost to max rank, which will provide a lot more mobility to the class and make it all around easier to use. Lastly, we're going to unlock our EMP grenade, which is hands down the most useful grenade in the game. What's more important though is that, by following the progression here, you'll likely have learned enough about the game by this point to make it more useful to you than the standard frag in more situations. After this, I would personally prioritize getting an SMG, or at the very least an automatic scout rifle, so that you can take the infiltrator class into closer range situations and still be effective, instead of having to switch to another class or run your stalker infiltrator. It's also a good idea once you make the transition to closer range engagements to start running the motion spotter and also level it up a bit. Motion spotter is currently my go-to nowadays regardless of how I'm playing my infiltrator class, but when it comes to gaining experience from the safety of long range, the recon dart is more important. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and if you have any recommendations that you can offer to new infiltrators, or if you find this guide useful in some capacity, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks very much folks, we're all signing off.